Yesterday, Midjourney released a groundbreaking feature called Reimagine, and one of its use cases allows you to draw a rough sketch of anything like this sad flower, and then totally reimagine it based on a single prompt. This is going to open up even more opportunities for non-artists to become artists. So here's how it works. First, head on over to midjourney.com forward slash editor forward slash new after logging in and select edit uploaded image. And here's that flower that I drew. Now, next, you need to switch to the retexture tab and specify a prompt based on how you want the AI to retexture your artwork. My first prompt is vector illustration of a sad flower. Now sit back for like 20 or 30 seconds and voila, it has retextured this artwork. And honestly, this is really quite impressive. Now, but what if I wanted to easily isolate the flower itself? Well, we can do that by specifying white background in the prompt, and this will make it easier in Photoshop to select the object itself. Awesome. So let's see now if we can get even more specific and specify the flower petals to be yellow. There we go. Now this one is freaking awesome. Now hang around because I'm going to show you how I use Rive to actually animate this flower. But first, I wanted to show you a couple of other experiments that I did with retexture. Here's a picture of a snake that I drew that is way too short in length. Well, I wanted a realistic snake. So that's all my prompt was, realistic snake. And look how freaking awesome and legit the results are. Here's a drawing of an explosion emanating from a phone. As you can see, amazing stuff. And I've only really begun to scratch the surface here. Now, for the fun of it, you can now use your assets in a million different ways. Since this is a UI UX channel, let's say we wanted to animate our retextured flower for use like on a hero section of a website. Here's a quick time lapse of this process. The first step is to isolate the flower using a tool like Photoshop. Then we hop into Rive. And one of the many things that Rive allows you to do is to import rastered assets like 24-bit transparent PNGs. Now here, I'm creating a mesh. And I'm no pro at this because there is a method to this madness, but you need to rig bones and connect each of the bones to the series of vertices that you created on the mesh. Now at this point, it's now just a matter of creating a looping animation by animating properties like rotation, scale, and position of each bone. Now, after a bunch of tweaking, this here is the final result. So Mid Journey's retexture feature allows you to go from a very rough idea like this to a really cool asset that's ready for use in many different contexts, such as this. So let me know what you think about all of these crazy features. Have you used it yet? Are you using AI? Let me know below and I'll see you soon. Oh, and for all you newbies out there, level up your skills today by checking out my interactive UI UX course today at designcourse.com.